In a previous video, we explored the differences between granite and quartz countertops. Today, we're going to discuss marble and concrete countertops. They aren't as popular, but they're up there. I couldn't find any samples of marble countertops, so I'm going to use this mosaic marble dial tile from Home Depot as an example. I was able to find some samples of pre-finished concrete countertops from Dex Industries. In this video, we're going to compare how they are made, their physical properties, price, performance, and environmental impact. Let's start with marble countertops. Marble is a metamorphic rock made from the bones of dinosaurs. Shells, coral, and fossils of marine organisms erode and settle to the bottom of the ocean floor as sediment. Layers upon layers of sediment are pressed together and cemented into limestone or calcite or calcium carbonate. Limestone is recrystallized under the influence of heat, pressure, and chemical processes beneath the Earth's surface to form marble. Some forms of marble metamorphosed from dolomite, a type of limestone composed of calcium magnesium carbonate. Pure marble is a bright white rock composed of an interlocking mosaic of carbonate crystals. The presence of mineral impurities can cause it to change color and create characteristic swirls and veins. For example, iron and feldspar will turn marble pink. Iron oxides will cause yellow and brown deposits. Serpentine will create a green hue. Porphyry will create a violet coloring, and graphite will turn marble dark and gleaming like gunmetal. Marble is found in many places – Italy, Spain, Brazil, China, India, Portugal, and Turkey are among the world's top producers of marble, with each country quarrying more than 1 million tons every year. It is also quarried locally in Vermont, Texas, Indiana, Tennessee, and Georgia. Large blocks of marble are cut out of the earth and transported to a factory. They are covered with a fiber mesh and glue to strengthen the block and make it safer for cutting. The block is cut with a gang saw machine into thinner slabs. Then they are polished with large industrial sanders. Straight cuts are made with a wet saw. Irregular shapes and curves are cut with a water jet. CNC machines carve out intricate edge profiles like an arc-shaped OG edge and a straight OG edge. Thin edges can be laminated with epoxy for extra stability. Finally, the edges and the slab are polished manually to remove any scratches. These edges can be round, bevel, waterfall or bullnose. Since marble is 100% natural stone, every slab is different. Its patterns and veining look soft and organic, unlike engineered quartz which can sometimes look fake. Marble has been used to make sculptures since ancient times because it is relatively easy to chisel and because of its subsurface scattering properties. Not all light reflects from the surface. Some of it will penetrate below the surface where it is absorbed and scattered internally. This property gives marble an attractive soft appearance that is good for representing human skin. Now let's discuss how concrete countertops are made. The main ingredient of concrete is Portland cement. Limestone, sand and clay are quarried and crushed into small rocks. It is combined with iron ore and fly ash. The ingredients are the source of calcium, silica, alumina and iron. They are ground, mixed and fed into a steel rotary kiln heated to 2700 degrees Fahrenheit or 1500 degrees Celsius. As the material moves through the kiln, certain elements are driven off in the form of gases. The remaining elements unite to form a new substance called clinker. This is usually in the form of small grey-black pellets about half an inch in diameter. Clinker is then cooled and pulverized into a fine powder and mixed with gypsum and limestone. The result is Portland cement. Cement is so fine that one pound of it contains 150 billion grains. Concrete countertops are made with a mortar mix consisting of one part cement and three parts sand. Accelerators, superplasticizers, pigments and decorative aggregates affect both the performance and final look of the concrete countertop. Once the motor mix is cured, the concrete is polished to remove the rough finish and add a more attractive sheen. Because concrete is porous, the countertops must be sealed with a food safe sealer. Concrete or mortar countertops can either be precast in a factory, 
polished and brought to your site like these products by Dex Industries or they can be cast in place. There are dozens of YouTube tutorials with step-by-step -step instructions. Cast in place concrete is a messy process, but it ensures that you have a perfect fit and seamless design. Concrete can be colored in four different ways. Pigments are added to the wet mix so that the color goes all the way through. Stains can be used on new and existing concrete. Color hardness strengthen and add intense color to the surface of concrete. Finally, concrete dyes produce the most vibrant colors and have a wide variety of options. Now let's compare the physical properties of marble and concrete countertops. Marble countertops are thinner, around 3 cm or 1 and quarter inches. It weighs approximately 18 pounds per square foot. A standard 1 and half inch thick concrete countertop weighs approximately 23 pounds per square foot. Marble stays naturally cool, which makes it the perfect surface for bakers. You can work with chocolate, dough and even ice cream without having to worry about it quickly melting into a puddle. Concrete countertops don't have this feature. Marble countertops are usually lighter colored and are perceived to be higher quality and add more value to a home. Concrete countertops are usually a darker gray color and have a rough industrial appearance. Unfortunately, they are not valued as much. To test their porosity, I poured some red wine on both the marble and concrete samples and let it sit for two full hours. After wiping it off, I could still see a permanent red stain on the marble piece while the concrete piece looked good as new. Wine is acidic so it ate away the top sealant and left it feeling rough and scratched. The professionally sealed concrete piece wasn't etched at all. Marble is a porous surface which makes it highly susceptible to stains. It requires frequent resealing every six months. Some light colored marble in heavily trafficked kitchens may need to be resealed more often. For this reason, marble is a better option for bathrooms, backsplashes and offices, while it might not be the perfect choice for kitchens. Concrete can be used in kitchens, but be aware that it is not a pristine looking surface. It will change color, get scratched and stained and will patina over time. Even if it is sealed, citrus juice and other acidic foods will etch concrete countertops. Marble countertops can be honed, leathered or polished, which adds a gloss sheen to the surface. Concrete countertops can have a low luster finish or an ultra smooth polished surface. Concrete is also more customizable. You can add stones, colored glass or metal shavings as aggregate. Now let's discuss their costs. They both have a wide range of costs per square foot depending on the quality and whether it's fabricated by a professional or by yourself. They both cost around $50 to $100 per square foot. Before we move on to the other differences between marble and concrete countertops, I'd like to introduce the sponsor of this portion of the video. Brad Hedges is an architectural sales consulting company based in Georgia. They help designers specify terrazzo, stair threads, railings, pavers, and resin wood laminates for architectural applications. They specialize in high-end residential and commercial projects like the Norfolk Southern Headquarters in Atlanta. Custom concrete flooring and wall panels by Dex Industries create a neutral background for their lobby, conference rooms, and offices. Head to bradhedges.com to check out their detailed exquisite work and contact them for your next project. Now back to the video. Comparing their environmental impact is very tricky. If your marble countertops are locally sourced, their carbon footprint will be smaller. Also, if you take care of them and regularly seal them, they can last you a lifetime. The production of Portland cement is very energy intensive, but you can use waste materials as aggregates in concrete countertops. Absolute Concrete Works in Seattle uses a glass fiber reinforced concrete mix to make countertops, fireplace surrounds, sinks and more. Because of its high strength, they can pour 3 quarters of an inch thick countertops rather than 1 and half inch or 2 inch thick slabs. They also use 50% less Portland cement than regular concrete. How do I get a gorgeous marble countertop without spending that kind of money? TV shows like this Rachel Ray segment encourage homeowners to turn their existing dark countertops into light-colored four marble designs. DIY epoxy kits allow you to paint them white and then add fake gray veining. 
A top clear sealant coat is supposed to protect the paint. You're going from this to this for under a hundred bucks and you get the look of marble. Good dang! Yes. It's a seemingly easy way to refresh your kitchen, but please be aware of the dangers of epoxy, including the strong fumes generated, the exothermic chemical reaction of the components that melts plastic, the need to properly ventilate your workspace, and the short lifespan of these cheap DIY products. Let me know if you have any personal experience using marble or concrete countertops, and if you prefer one over the other. I'll link my Patreon page in the description if you can support me and really appreciate it. A big thank you to everyone already supporting me. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell too. Thanks for watching. See ya.